Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. Now that the fallout of the Mercy change is going to live, it's kind of over, people have got used to how these changes work, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk to EVA about the Mercy changes and how there's a lot of unanswered questions with this hero that may still need changing. Without further ado, let's get started. So the Mercy changes went through, I think a lot of people are kind of expecting Mercy to drop out, but it's quite interesting to hear somebody that pretty much plays predominantly Mercy you kind of agree with the changes to an extent. Yeah, I kind of agree in the sense that Mercy needed changes. She's too powerful. She was a must pick. Really speaking, no hero should be a must pick ever. But to see Mercy being nerfed, it's a good thing. But the question then becomes, was this cor the correct nerf? And is this a viable long-term nerf? Mercy in the past has received dozens of nerfs or changes or buffs throughout her history. She's likely the most changed hero at this point. But if you start to look at the history of these changes, many of them are either semi knee-jerk reaction changes or just changes to make her more or less viable in different situations. And when you start to look at each of these changes, there are two things. They're not only patch changes in the sense that they don't actually fix the issue, they're just patches to an existing issue and they don't really fully address those issues and that these aren't long-term fixes. The, a lot of these changes are temporary fixes that don't fully fix the issue at hand. Take immunity, for example. She was dying when she was in, uh, going in for resurrect. That didn't really fix the issue of her kit. It was a band-aid fix. In this case, I feel it's a band-aid fix and that this isn't the long-term fix. Do you expect more changes to come to Mercy, albeit? Because the impression I have is that they needed to tone down Mercy to the point where she was still somewhat viable, but not obviously as strong as she is. And then Blizzard had a little bit more freedom and room to go, right, we can change these quality of life things to just bump up Mercy a little bit. What kind of changes would you also like to see that we may not have seen implemented? In this situation, I'm not sure if they'll be doing more tweaking as much as that it is borderline another rework I expect to see. A lot of the professional scene agrees that the Resurrect just simply needs to be removed in place of another ability. I'm starting to lean that way because at this point, I don't feel Resurrect on cooldown will ever be balanced. And here's some of the reasons why I feel this way. Right now, Mercy is yet again just a ball of exceptions. Her literal entire kit is a ball of exceptions. With Resurrect being a cooldown, the longest cooldown in the game, the only cooldown in the game that lasts through respawn and that it is the only thing in the game that can bring somebody back to life. That's some pr pretty key exceptions going on there. But right now as it stands, it's also the one of the only cooldowns in the game that has a channeled cast time that if interrupted, you will lose the cooldown. So as it stands right now, it's a ball of exceptions that doesn't feel good to the user and that it still regardless doesn't feel good to have somebody you just picked off resurrected. I think as a game design philosophy, Blizzard is going to try to either keep tweaking res severely or potentially remove it. The idea that there's a cast time on res now really makes it so you can't jump in and just bring somebody back to life without running the risk of dying yourself and both of you being down in the fight. Does that work as a placeholder, I suppose, to the problem being that like Res is either going to be OP whilst it's in the game, or do you think that there was other ways that they could go about it? Is the cast time too long? Like, is it balanced for you the way that it is currently in the game? With the Resurrect, at least, just on its own. I think in general, currently, the goal was to make Resurrect less viable for Mercy to pull off from a safety standpoint. Mercies were living way too long and getting off way too many Resurrects per life. This makes it more risky for the player to get off a resurrect, especially if somebody's out of position. One of the f a couple patches ago, they removed a guardian angel reset after resurrect. That instantly already made it more difficult for mercies to get off reses because they couldn't just fly in resurrect and get out. They fly in resurrect are there for about a second and a half and then fly out. That already was a detriment, but now it's fly in forced to stay there two seconds and then get out and they're super slow in the meantime. From a from a safety standpoint, if you actually shoot the Mercy, 
it's a much less viable situation, and oftentimes that, that resurrect wasn't worth it, because now they're down their mercy. In that sense, it's a pretty viable change. Does it actually fix the issue? No. Right now, as it seems, the current issue is Valkyrie, in my opinion. The way we're headed is back where Mercy was in Mercy 1.0 days. Mercy 1.0 relied on her ultimate solely to be useful to the team. In this situation, unless you can securely get off a Resurrect outside of Valkyrie, you're back to the situation you are fully dependent on your ultimate to be useful to the team. Getting off two instant, uh, instant Resurrects is super important to your team, as well as you have the entire duration of 20 seconds to get off either of those Resurrects tempo dur uh, during a fight. It is a really powerful situation, but just l makes her lean on her Resurrect and to be useful during Valkyrie. So I generally feel that at this point, Mercy is just back to where she was, where she is reliant on her ultimate, and this is what they were trying to avoid with Mercy 2.0. They made Resurrect an ability so that it would allow Mercy to utilize part of her kit between ultimates. Now, we're just back at the point where she's only useful during her ultimate, effectively. I think the way that Blizzard wanted to approach it is the, I think, I can't remember who used the example necessarily, but it's the whole idea that you're defending on Hanamura, um, somebody gets picked on your team and you can res them back up fairly quick. It's one of those, when you have control over the fight, that you can res people as and when needed. So there's that element of play that I think it supports, but is there just no, what way can you balance it? Just talking about the ability before we get onto the ultimate, because that's a completely different topic. Is there any way to make Resurrect more viable than it is currently? Is it viable, is it fine now without completely removing it from the game? Is that actually possible, do you think, for Blizzard to do? Right now, the way I see it is that Resurrect either needs to go on a earned ability situation or it needs to be removed from the game. Think of as poor of an example as this potentially may be to some people, Torbjorn Scrap, the ability that he has. He cannot use armor uh, until he has filled up a portion of his meter. In this case, just imagine instead of a countdown, it is a percentage on top of her ability bar. In this situation, there would be no resurrects on the instant, uh, the instant the match starts. She would have to earn it, you killing the Mercy twice in a row wouldn't just allow her to be come back and have Resurrect for free. You're actually rewarded for killing her twice in a row. She would not have a Resurrect for that next engagement, nor the old charge for Valkyrie. It would also encourage the situation that it would also make her kit flow better as a hero, because currently speaking, it just feels terrible as a player. Right now, it also feels that, and that Resurrect is also the ability in the game that has such a long cooldown that regardless of how you play as a person, you will not gain that faster or slower. So in a situation where you need to engage, but you also can't die for this next engagement, you just feel the need to, all right, six seconds, and then we can engage with Resurrect. It's like, that doesn't feel good. It doesn't flow well. With it being earned, not only are you encouraged to do your job consistently, having a flow to your kit, but as well as during Valkyrie, instead of having a situation where, all right, well, you have potentially two, or say before where you could earn multiple just with a cooldown over the duration of Valkyrie, this situation would be how much you heal and how much you damage boost during Valkyrie, because you're healing or damage boosting multiple people, would increase how fast you get another Resurrect. But if you say are only Valking and only healing two people, you're not gonna get more Resurrects because you're not doing more. Overall, when you start to think about how this flows through her entire kit, this is not only more beneficial for her from a gameplay perspective, more beneficial for her team to not feel like they have to just wait on a cooldown. They can actually work together to earn it quicker. Or from the enemy perspective, where they are rewarded for punishing the Mercy player and denying them additional Resurrects by eliminating her, where they feel before it is predictable as well as it is unrewarding to repeatedly kill the Mercy, knowing that regardless of what you do, she will have another Resurrect. Say for an imagine a stall situation where multiple lives over and over, she's not gonna have Resurrect because she's just feeding. Whereas in the current sense as well, that you know, all right, she's died t twice. When she comes back, she's gonna have res on a tank. That doesn't 
seem right. Whereas it would reward a player for not just repeatedly going onto the point, but trying to heal or damage boost people as they feed onto the point, potentially allowing them to do more of their job, extending the stall likely faster, and then actually allowing the player to do more of their job. When you start to think about how everything would flow because Resurrect is earned, it makes you feel, why aren't they doing this? Regardless of looking at Mercy, what should and shouldn't be done with her balance, the version of Mercy that we've got in the game we're going to have for a few weeks. I imagine there'll be a lot of people that play Mercy, maybe just play Mercy, that can be quite intimidated by this. Not only just because of the hero being changed to a point that they're not as good, I think most people would agree there, but also people are really against the idea of Mercy now. Yeah, I think in general right now people are very jaded to even the concept of having a Mercy. People are getting this taste of matches without mercy again, and frankly, it feels great. Team fights flow uh, very well. You are rewarded for picks. Team fights actually seem like skill is factored in again, as bad as that may seem. How many times were you called out for playing Mercy when the changes went live in comparison to playing them before? Right as soon as the changes hit, within about two hours, not only were they attacking my hero choice, but they as well as going personal because many players have this issue where they cannot separate their hate for a class with the person that plays that class. So I think with all of the Mercy players that may watch this that may be like kind of almost scared to pick up Mercy, like what kind of advice would you give on playing this iteration of Mercy that's in the game currently? Because not too much has changed. It is just a time on the resurrect, so if you're a good Mercy, you can play around it and you can stay at your skill rating and even climb nowadays with how skill seems to factor in a lot more. I'd say in general, right now, just don't worry about what people say. Objectively speaking, not a lot's changed. It's just a matter of figuring out was this change good and, fa and figuring out how this plays into your own personal playstyle. I personally didn't resurrect a ton outside of Valkyrie, so it hardly affected me. But that might affect you more depending on your rank. So, in general, figure out how it affects your playstyle, how to improve from that, and moving forward, what you feel you should be doing to your as, as, and what you should be doing with your team. I also would like to note, definitely more people need to be practicing Moira. I feel she's a very entertaining hero, and that she will also be pretty powerful for the time being. It would be pretty good to have both on your side. So we've spoken about what we change about like how Res would work a lot of the time given it would be on like a charge basis, almost like a mini ultimate in a lot of senses. How would that change with the ultimate with Valkyrie? What aspects of Valkyrie are too strong? What aspects would you leave alone? Currently speaking, two things of Valkyrie are too powerful and kind of three, depending on how you look at it. Right now, as far as the ultimate itself, I feel that its duration is insane. And that especially with a charge base changes to Resurrect, that it needs to be 12 or 14 seconds. It's just, it's just too long. It's too powerful in its current form, in my opinion, and that especially with these changes, it would be too effective. Her passive speed in Valkyrie is a notch too fast for many players and most ranks. It is very difficult to track her, especially at a distance. Um, alongside that, currently Valkyrie is gained a little too quickly. If we add a 20% additional cost to it, I feel it would be in a much more balanced position regarding how frequently it is available. And yeah, I, I forgot about this part, but as well as her passive regeneration is currently a little bit too much. I feel that at 20 healing per second, while it doesn't feel like it's that much, it feels much more. I think if we cut it back to half and then give back her time-based regeneration of not taking damage for say two seconds, and then she'll go up to a higher regeneration. Considering it's an ultimate, I feel like that is actually pretty reasonable and will encourage chip damage to the Mercy as a team, knowing that any damage over the course of the next two seconds will prevent her from getting additional healing. That kind of situation I feel like would make as an ultimate it more balanced and less frustrating to play against and more rewarding for actually shooting down the Mercy. And I guess the main sort of thing to finish on really, the major question that I think most people are asking is, is Mercy now trashed here? And what can be done to change it for the better or worse? 
I feel it heavily depends on your the map, the team composition, and your rank. I know that's not a very good answer, but as well as because it's factored on those things, she could potentially be still the most ideal pick, or depending on the map, it might not be very good. In my opinion, she's still in a fine position, but it's not ideal for long term, and that many people feel jaded towards her changes, not only that they're getting more favorable towards not having to play with or against her, but as well as that in general, people just want to break. They don't. They they see these balance passes as all right. The days of mercy are over. I don't want to see her in my matches anymore. People feel really strongly like that. Finally, I guess we usually do golden tips. Anything that you really want to highlight at the end of this video, really emphasize with playing the new version of mercy, and also where can people find you with more streams and Twitter and all that jazz. I feel right now where Resurrect is an entirely bad situation. I feel it encourages two things. Paying attention to more, uh, paying attention to saving it more for Valkyrie. So you have those double instant resurrects instead of thinking, it also encourages thinking about, do we really need this person for this next fight if they get picked off early? Or as well as that, just in general communication, letting your team know that, hey, we're gonna have Valkyrie soon, so we'll have instant resurrects or the reverse of that being, we don't have Valkyrie, but we need to get off this res soon. We need to be able to help me get off a resurrect via either a bubble, Winston shield, or additional healing from your second healer. Those will greatly impact your play over time and will definitely help you win more matches via being able to do your job. As far as where to check me out, um, you can find me over on my Twitter at EVA underscore or on Twitch at EVA underscore. And that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. Do check out EVA. He's a great streamer. He's been also learning other heroes as well, climbing up the ranks as McCree, for those that want to check that out. It's definitely worth a watch. But that's it for this time. Let me know if you want to talk about any other heroes. Maybe we could talk about Doomfist with Chipsa. Might be a good example of a video to do. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. And until next time, take care. We'll see you then.